Hi everybody, welcome to this commentary playing a Fizz of mid lane versus uh, I think Malzahar this game, unfortunately. Sounds like an annoying matchup to be honest. Once uh, he's level 6 that is. It's felt like playing Fizz. This is, once again, around Diamond 2 for everybody who was curious. Uh, um, oh, I have a little cup of cocoa. Nice. Um, so we need to proc his shield before we really do a lot of damage to him. Might wait until level 3 to do that. Uh, we could probably actually all in him if we proc his shield at level 6 still. It's not too hard to solo kill people. When you have Ignite on Fizz, if you run TP, which isn't that bad to do. And then my runes are just standard Fizz runes. Everybody runs this. Oh wait, I messed up one thing, which is that you're supposed to take Scaling CDR. It's actually better. Take Scaling CDR. Because the Scaling CDR will make it so you can get to 40% with just going Sheen Fiendish Codex. And, um, something else. So we'll just, uh, I'm not gonna, like, go up here because he'll just auto-attack me down if I, if I go up. So it's better just to, uh, play the slow CSing game here. Just chill. I'm probably gonna go for this one. He can hit me for that. It's okay. Okay, we'll see if I can proc it. Didn't, but that's still okay. He's running away. Oh, he already used his thing? That is quite unfortunate. I wonder what he went second. Not really sure. Kane also took all of Amumu's top side here, by the way. He's gonna proc electrocute and back off. He used his abilities on the wave, which means that I'm gonna be oh wow, that actually landed on me. Oh, it's pretty easy to dodge his abilities on this skin. Well, okay, I can't see his E though. That's kind of unlucky. It's actually so hard to see his E. We only use one of our corrupting potions here. It's all good. <clears throat> yeah. I'm fine with Amumu wasting his flash for my own. My flash is not too important, really. Let's grab a kill on that guy. See if that was up. See if we would go for it. Yeah, so Fizz is ridiculously strong early game, by the way. Uh, if you're able to actually get onto people, especially champions that suck really bad early game. You know, if you're if you're gonna do this for Syndra, be super careful. The reason why I was able to do this in the first place. Actually, dude, Sheen sounds nuts here. I'm gonna go Sheen. The burst damage from Sheen sounds crazy. Um if you're playing versus something like Syndra and you go on her, she's gonna Q Q Q Q Q all the way out because your thing is 13 seconds long and it's kind of one of the most important abilities here. So if you jump on Syndra, she's gonna Q all the way out, maybe even Orianna. But a champion like Malzahar cannot one-shot you from full HP because this champion has high cooldowns, just like you. Except for that, you have more um, consistent damage through your W. So that means you destroy champions like Malzahar if you can get on top of him. Just using my W to make sure I get all these last hits here. So right there, I just went under tower. I was gonna kill him with the, the E, but he was able to get away. Um, But you can see how much damage I deal. Also, kill these little things. Those things are the things that let Malzahar push. Those are the main things that let Malzahar push. His E does not deal that much damage early on. It cannot kill a minion on its own. The minions die super fast to his little voidlings. That's that's what really like push makes him push. Uh. Dude, you are like right out of, my, out of my Q range. I keep on pressing it on him, but he's just not not in range. So annoying. Ah, whatever. That's that. That was bad by me, but it's okay. We finally got his shield down.
What? How did that land? I played that literally as risky as possible. My goodness. Oh, I think I should have died there, but it's okay. I, I was trying to bait for Kane, but <laughs> I don't know how that Amumu Q actually landed on me. If he's still here, I'll, I'll kill him with Shark. <laughs> okay. Uh, never mind. <laughs> that was an accident. Damn. Alright. Oh yeah, because you go Ionian Boots, that's why. You go the Ionian Boots for the CDR as well. I'm gonna go finally this now. I feel like I'm gonna snowball this game because we already got two kills on this guy. That was a mistake by me, but it all worked out in the end. Because I should have backed off a bit more because Maldhar put his Yummy and I almost died to it. So I should have just not eat back in. That was the risky part. I could have just eat out and uh, let Kane finish him off, but it's okay. The real threat for me inside this matchup is being locked down, which both of them have a tiny, tiny bit, right? They have the banish toss, but as soon as they're le both level 6, they can lock me down from 100 0. So that's when it actually becomes a little bit more scary for ganks. Otherwise, I can kind of just like let them do whatever they want. I can just jump away with my Q, using Q on creeps to jump backwards. We can also dive mid, by the way. What? Why did my auto attack not go off on that minion there? Yeah, you're just dead, dude. I'm, I'm not gonna help with that. Yeah, I'm not going. If I go there, maybe, maybe I can kill Malzahar, but that's it. I'm gonna let this guy shove and try to freeze. I think I can one-shot him from full if I let him go a little bit longer. Like, so I need a longer lane so I can get him here. I even have Bard coming. Yeah, that's not going to work. Nice. <clears throat> this, oh, dude, this actually must be such a good matchup if you have like a little bit of lane pressure through your allies as Fizz. Fizz is such a good champion when you have a team that is able to follow up. Because sometimes you get into matchups where like you're versus, let's say, a Lux, which shouldn't be too difficult. But then if she goes barrier plus you have teammates that can't gank like the shark, then she's suddenly unkillable because you can't 100 0 if you jump on her and she plays it correctly and just cues you under tower or something. It's going to be bad. So you could get into the scenarios where like Fizz is super weak. Uh, and then you'd kind of have to abuse the early game. Uh, honestly, I mean, Lux would probably be harder than playing versus Malzahar. Malzahar seems so easy. I just jump on him and there's literally no way for me to really die. Because he doesn't have a thing that would like get me stuck under tower unless it's his ulti. So like level 1 through 4 was so easy for me because I... And I even solo killed him right under tower. So... Champions that have lockdown or consistent damage are probably the ones that are going to make the hardest matchups for Fizz. Okay, Shark is already coming back up here. Wait, they have a Shaco support. Hmm. I don't know which one it is. Oh, I know which one it is now. Nice job, Bart. I kind of had a feeling that uh, he would fight me because I had a feeling somebody was nearby, but Malzar damage is quite low. I'm going to be completely honest. He's a champion that 
Really needs Landry's to be strong. I'm going to flash out of the ulti range for a Moo Moo there. Uh, this guy has uh, no mana, the a Moo Moo, which is why I'm like not really that scared. Oh, yo, dude, you have uh, Targons there. He should have used it. Oh, well. I'm literally doing it in front of a Moo Moo's face because we know he has no mana. What is a no mana Moo Moo going to do to me, right? And now we have, this is like the core build for Fizz. The CDR, extremely quickly. So if I had the scaling CDR, I'd be already at 40%. That's the whole entire reason behind it. That uh, I've seen the Fizz one tricks do. You build like this, the components for the CDR. So now I have 30%. If I had the scaling CDR, I'd be at 35% because I'm halfway to 18. So... Super solid game so far. I have 8 KP. This guy has 8 KP too. This part is crazy. He's been doing a lot. I did not really think about going on top of the box there, by the way. <laughs> for the Shaco. I almost died because of that. Do I one-shot these? Oh, I did. Let's get the plate and just try to take the tower or something, man. They're committing super hard for this, but because they're committing so hard, that means I just get free tower, which is worth a lot of money, to be honest. That was 600 gold that I just got. Look at how much money I have now, and I just bought it. Okay, so he's coming back mid. Pay attention to the minimap. You saw him coming back mid. I'm sure you did. Oh, this is fucking boarded. So they're, they're gonna go the safe way then. Bummer. A Moomoo's coming up this way. Do I want to fight a Moomoo plus the Malzahar together? Maybe. Waiting for a Moomoo to show up. I have Kane nearby somewhat. Whatever, let's go top. Let's push and go top. You can't. Yeah. Okay, we can just go up here. Okay, so there should be no Mumu up here. And then I just saved my E to just get out, and then I'm fine. Nobody TP'd. Nobody was top lane because we saw Mumu bot side, so just free kill. And there's no way for her to outplay it. Uh, you do want to be the one normally tanking first this Fizz, by the way, because you do have a way to uh, get rid of tower aggro. A lot of champions don't have that. So, because you do, you should normally be the one that's uh, tanking for your team. Oh, they got dope, though. Let's see how long this guy can last. Oh, you're going to get ultied, aren't you? Oh, wow, you're not going to get ultied. I'm gonna die, but I don't care. We got so many kills there. I'll get a little bit of a shutdown, and it's also on to the, the Shaco, so I don't mind. Let's finish our Zhonyas now. To be honest, I'm not really that worried about having a stopwatch here, so I'm actually just gonna go Seekers for more AP. Actually, hmm. I guess this could enable like uh, like a dive or something on somebody. Whatever, I'll just use it that way instead. I'll probably use the stopwatch at, for a kill rather than save it. In some cases, you guys see me say like, oh, I'm gonna sit on stopwatch and not build my Azanias here. But for Fizz, I think it's okay just to build it straight up. So I'll just use it 
whenever I want to as a kill rather than as a defensive tool. So I can like uh, use my E under tower and then use my stopwatch after or something. Oh, well. Shark deals about 600 damage right now. We're gonna shove out top and then we can uh, we can go mid. There we go. <clears throat> that was a bad shark. Yikes. Well, good thing it's a low cooldown. Only one minute. Not too big of a deal. Oh, Vayne died to Kai'Sa. Wow. That's why the CDR is important, by the way. <laughs> I was worried that I was going to get uh, hit by um, Malzar ulti under tower, so I just backed off because nobody was tanking. And now we can back off. So I used the stopwatch to make sure that he wouldn't uh, ulti me under tower while I was still tanking. Wow, what are these guys doing here? Take it. I knew she would take her ulti there, it's so obvious. Because uh, if you're gonna land W, she uses her E to prep the attack speed, so then she can uh, go in with extreme attack speed there to try to get me. Nice, got the Shaco kill. I got an assist for that, thank you very much. I have my shark back up as well. I guess I can stay. A little bit risky, but you know, whatever. I'm not gone. I missed it. I was looking for a shark if it landed, I would have won. If it doesn't land, then we can just back off. Don't force a play if you mess it up. So annoying. Please stop. I'm gonna go way back here. <laughs> you just gonna get one shot? My goodness. Well, at least you got the kill on the way out. We can go for Mountain Dragon here. Play for that. I think I'm going for a Morello's because a lot of them have no magic resist yet. So I can just one shot um, people easier that have no magic resist. Of course, it's not going to be very good versus like a Moo Moo and stuff, but that's the only person who has MR right now, so. Got her. That's not the real one. That's a fake one. I deal too much damage to that guy. The real one is this one. Kill that guy. I don't even need a flash here. 
I might not get the kill, but who cares? Oh, I got it. Just play patient with Fizz, dude. Just use your E when you need to. Like, when Riven was going to use her third Q, that's when I used it to make sure she didn't knock me up. Inside of Super High Elo, like Challenger, they might be able to outplay you, but in most cases, I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to read the movements of people. Inside of Challenger, they probably would have sat on it, waited for me to use my E or something. Nice, Marlowe's now. Uh, and then I used, just like a minion, you can use champions as your, um, because what you can do is you QR and it animation cancels the R so it goes much faster. But people always do that on creeps in mid lane, it's not very hard to do. Just use a, a person for it. So I use Shaco as my, um, my boost to hit the Kaisa there with the, the shark. And then I played very patient, she exhausted me. Amun was gonna ulti so I actually waited on the outside because I knew he would ult, of course he's gonna ult. Because somebody else was actually going in there. I think uh, the, the the cane was, so... I'm gonna wait for everybody's things to be ready so I can just go in and get the kill easier. When uh, everybody's ultis are down, that will lock me down. At the end of the day, I'm super slippery, but if I get hit by an Amumu ulti, I'm gonna be stuck there for a full duration. I don't have Legend Tenacity, nor Merc Treads. Neither of them. I also don't have Zhonya's right now, so I can't even use Zhonya's if I get... Oh. That guy's dead. Uh, I'll just hope. I think uh, that guy's already dead, so I'll just go for her instead. Nice, that should be game. They're probably FF right now. That This is like the FF angle. They died all five for zero, so... No? No FF angle? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> that was some fucking nuts damage. Okay, I'll, I'll chill, man. We can get a kill here, probably. Oh, wait. We can just kill whoever face checks me. I mean, I'm strong enough to basically carry any team fight. And in a 1v1, it's even easier because of just how strong I am. Just because of my items, not because of really my champion. I guess Fizz is kind of like a stat check champion, where it's like if you're really far ahead, you're going to win every single 1v1 versus anybody. It's kind of nice. Okay, buy this. We can buy this just for the hell of it. How much AP do I have? 419. As soon as I get death cap, I'm hoping to get up to like 600-ish. My shark deals 900 damage right now. It is more than Kaisa's uh, half of her HP, I think. So I'll do like 60% of HP just with a long range shark. If she doesn't exhaust me, that is because she has exhaust. This deals 280, this deals 300 and something. So basically I have like a 1.5 ratio on my W here. And then of course each auto attack also deals bonus damage. I'm just talking about the initial hit. 
Okay, they're gonna fight without me. I'm pretty sure that they're strong enough to do it. The only way that he dies here is getting chained. Yeah, well, he got chained. Chain CC'd. Hmm, where did Kaisa go? Isn't she nearby? Darn. We got her ulti, just for jumping on her there. We might be able to just end the game here. I'm dead. Someone needed to need blo body block it for me. Oh well. I'm not really too worried. Oh, well, we're all gonna die, but still. I'm not too worried about losing this game regardless. Because I know that any good shark will win us the game. And we have some other fed members on the team as well. It's kind of limit testing. 14, 2, and 12. Could have probably ended with 14, 1, and, or like even higher than that, probably like 16, 1. Whatever. Ooh. That is some damage right there. I wonder if I should sell my Medjais and buy a second. Oh, it's whatever. Second Needless. Get him, Kane. Show him who's boss. I could probably beat Riven 1v1 because of uh, how many more items I have, despite her having the Death Stance, which normally get, makes it so brisk champions are extremely hard to kill. Alright. Nice. I'm really just not gonna do anything here. Deals nothing. Dude. Just die. <laughs> Stop flashing away from me. <laughs> Ouch. Let's run. <clears throat> she used exhaust. I'll wait for a better moment to kill her because she's actually really strong. I have death cap. I think that our team would just want to end the game here though, so I'll just go with them. Shouldn't matter who I shark at this point. Maybe I'll just shark a Mumu. I don't know. I want her to use her E. I don't want her to be able to stop it. I still want to keep my shark here. Do I really have to use it? Whatever. Jesus Christ, that damage. <laughs> 19, 2, and 12. My goodness. How are they not FFing, man?
Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. It was <laughs> pretty... Okay, you can see why Fizz can snowball out of control, by the way. And it's not that I'm, like, doing anything too special. I would say, like, a lot of the stuff that I do is not really mechanically taxing. I'm just going in whenever they use their abilities. And then I just win the trade. And then I know that when I do the tower dive, when he walks back up, I still have Ignite. He's just gonna die from a Q Ignite, because, I mean, he does a lot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. If you're impressed, if you think that this is gonna help out your games, be sure to drop a like on the video. Um, this account finally caught up to about the elo that I'm in, so we can quickly look though, just just for the hell of it. Yeah, that guy was Diamond too. Malzahar one trick maybe as well. So this guy literally only plays Malzahar. So Diamond two Malzahar, you can see how I can abuse it. Um, so once again, if you liked it, be sure to drop a, drop a like on the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.